Hey. Hey guys, how we doing? Alright, so starting a little bit earlier than I expected. So we're going to do some leveling up and I think we're actually going to not do the quest line. So we'll see what we've got here first. Okay, em empty inventory. Actually got a pretty good crossbow for this level. But we'll need some upgrades at some stage soon. But... Try and pick up a couple of side quests along the way if we can, but we're actually going to go and do some dungeoning for like quite a while. So we'll go over here, over here. Low on energy. Okay, so grab that one and that one. And just realized Dash doesn't actually kill them. Okay, so just keep going along here. Keep going. Slowly get experience like this. Okay, now we just keep going. Where are we on the map? Okay. Sweet, sweet. Oh, there's an event here as well. Oh, wow, what is this? We just kill these fellas? Okay. I'm out of energy. So kill this one, and then... Alright, sweet. And then I guess finish these guys off and we'll get the chest as well. I'm not ready yet. I'm low on energy. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Not upgrades. No, not yet. Uh, we want to actually compare it against. So we don't lose anything. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Critical strike chance. Yes. No. And. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess it's good enough. We'll be a bird for a while. Got the little beak there. So stranger. <laughs> uh, alright. So, we'll go back up here. Oh, it's not up there. It's down here. So there is a dungeon here, and I want to see how this one goes. So I heard there's like high density and it's a good layout, all that sort of stuff. So it might be a good one for us to grind for pretty much all the way to level 25 maybe. We'll see how it goes. Okay, are they going to come? I have time to do that. Okay, don't worry too much about gold. I'm low 
low on energy. So collect these. Oops. Um, let's try to group them up a bit. That's better. I'm not ready yet. Sweet. I need more energy. Let's check that out. Uh, okay, no upgrades, but we've got stuff to sell. Uh, so, oh wow. What? Alright, cool. So, what I'm thinking for today is we'll get this one to level 25. We're at level 10 right now. So, we've got to get get the hustle going then we will do item grinding there's also a couple of world bosses coming up as well in three and a half hours and then five and a half hours and then once we do all of that I have we can then do some lilith altar hunting and and just general general like quest completionist type stuff so side quests um strongholds Anything to kind of increase our renown. But I doubt we'll be able to do all of that by today. But we'll see how we go. What is this? Oh, it's just a trap. Okay. I need more time. That's cool. We can one-shot those guys. Ah, oh, nice. No time to do that. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, we've got a bit of gold there, though. Nice couple of rares. Pretty cool. And I think we'll do like an upgrade potion one a little bit later on. Uh, crit strike chance. All stats intelligence. What do we get here? Maximum energy and max light. And that's nah, alright. Okay. Try to hoard these guys up a bit. Heard I heard these guys up, I should say. Uh, okay, go back. <clears throat> Alright, so what does this do? Do we click on that now? Yes. Um, kill these bats. I'm not ready yet. Save a bit of energy, and then we can just carefully to avoid those ones. I'm out of energy. Nice and quick. 
But no items? Wow. That kind of sucks. Uh, we've got a skill point though, I forgot about that. So, we've maxed out Penetrating Shot. We've got Dash. Uh, one more until we hit that tree. So, where do we put it? I really wouldn't mind Poison Trap, actually. Um, what is a good one? Weapon Mastery. I don't know. I think too little benefit for that. Shadow Sep, no. Rugged, no. I don't know about Caltrops. No, we can't access that yet. Okay. What about Dash? Crowd Control. Slows. Cooldown. Oh, crowd control. Ah, oh, that's the cooldown one, and that's the crowd control one. Okay. Um. Stutter step. Probably in combat movement speed mainly on that one. So, I don't know. I think. Because we don't really need it, right? So maybe just increase the forceful arrow, actually. Let's just do that for now. Uh, Alright. There's a shrine here. I need more time. Is it gonna annoy me? Are they? Okay, sweet. Uh, how many more? Is there like, is there actually five more? Where is the prisoners? Five. Bless you. Okay. Uh, Chandra, hey, how you doing today? Thank you. And we don't need a shield. Anything else down here? I'm not ready yet. Let's check out some of the items. Don't know. Uh, yeah, not quite. Uh, weapon mastery is best now. At least you get something without any key input. Uh, yeah, I end up going with the vulnerable pierces just for a little bit more um, DPS in AOE. So, like, this one pierces now? Yeah, cool. I just feel like Weapon Mastery's benefits are very marginal. I think it's like, yeah, increasing crit strike damage, but my crit chance is so low. It might be good later on though. Uh, is there four more? Yep. Keep 
was there anything else? Yes. You're good, 7 a.m. What's my take on D4? Mainly rega regarding bow skills. Um, I am finding that their single target DPS is fairly low. At least compared to others, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Okay, we've got a new ring, so that's pretty cool. Crit strike damage, damage to crowd controlled enemies. Okay, hmm, not really sure about that, but we do get increased dash damage. Oh yeah, we definitely don't need that mod. Um, vulnerable damage to distant enemies and basic skills. Oh, that's hard to beat. It's for just a plus one. Yeah, not sure about that one. This one here, physical damage, shadow damage, fire, resist. Uh, not quite. Damage to crowd controlled enemies. Oh, it's a lower, lower damage. Okay, cool. Continue on. I'm not ready yet. Oh, they make you vulnerable. Okay, I was wondering what those were. Okay, nice. I'm low on energy. Okay, ready for life. Get this one over here. Started struggling with dungeons and whatnot around level 20 with bow skills. I think a slight buff on the base damage. Uh, even with like shadow. Because I found shadow was easier than cold. So I did cold and shadow so far. didn't actually see that or hear that one. Okay, free this fellow. And then we'll go look at spending the skill point here. So skill point, we've now got access to subterfuge. So we'll get the poison trap straight up, I reckon. So it's only got one charge, but kind of just use it to spike up DPS. And yeah, we'll bind it to F. Sounds pretty good. So this is a poison build, so we're aiming for poison. This is going to help with that. Uh, where else do we need to go? Come here. Right, so it lasts a fair while. That's pretty cool. And look, it's already cool, uh, off cooldown. Where do we need to go? I think down here. Yeah, so did you use shadow or cold or poison imbuements for your build? And we're using penetrating shot or barrage? That's another question. Let's see how many we can kill, just like this. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's alright. I don't think we're going to have any struggles with single target DPS with this particular build. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And with the TP, can we actually choose what our main town is? Uh, socials, no. Clan, no. Don't need clans. Game. Don't think you can. 
don't know if you can really control it. Reset dungeons, TPs, any TP stuff here. Okay, we'll do those ones pretty soon. I'm trying to do Sanguine Chapel, we can't even clear it with Shadow or anything I tried. Probably with Penetrate Barrage and Rapid. Gear would be better, but isn't the worst either, so I'm not sure. Uh, using Dark Shroud. Let's uh, leave this dungeon anyway. Using Dark Shroud or anything like that to kind of boost your survivability. I wonder if I can just set the TP over here. View rewards. Right, so rewards are per character by the looks of it. Can we actually... I don't know if we could use like this one. No, it keeps targeting Kirby Shed. I'm not sure why. Okay, list our services. That's pretty cool. But can I set the TP? My TP location to... So what if I do this? Mm, no, it doesn't let me do that. Yeah, um, I don't know. I didn't struggle too much with the shadow build, to be honest. I mean, did die a couple of times, especially that Malnok uh, stronghold. That part was uh, quite tough. But once you get some better items than that, you can even buy items from the shop just to upgrade. That might help you out too. And then otherwise, just try to extract legendaries and bind them to other rare items that you've got. That could help you out too. Okay. Different layout this time. Okay, F for the crap. Ah, oh, down ready, sweet. And the cooldown is relatively okay on that. I need more energy. Sweet. I need more time. Okay, we're still late. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's my trap. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to uh, sell some stuff here. Max evade charge and movement speed. Oh yeah, that's an easy change. Crit strike and... Uh, I think it's pretty much better in every way. Crowd controlled enemies. I think I we might have crowd control, but yeah, I think we've got to change that blade anyway. All right, I think we gotta head back to shop soon. Actually. this bow. Conduit Shrine. Alright, gather around. Over here there's an elite. Let's go 
over here. Ah, oh, it's the end. Let's pick up the items. I heard something over here. Yes. I need more time. Oh, I thought that would reach him. Okay, sweet. I can't carry any more. Um really maximum life. Okay. Oh, I've got a good ring on that one. Okay. Uh, where else now? Oh, actually at the end. And deposit My them now. Okay, so what are we doing here? Travel to the slaughter. I know what that means. Free the prisoners, okay. Ah, uh, slaughter's the place, okay. This one. I need time to do that. Go up here. in that trap. Oh no. Wouldn't have made it without you. Wouldn't have made it without you. Oh, is that one more? There is two. I'm not ready yet. I need more energy. My 
Okay, poison trap is neat. Be careful. I need more time. I'm carrying too much. Alright, we definitely need to go back to town. And got a crown as well. So okay. Skill point though, we can actually get this one. Knocks enemies down when it activates. That doesn't sound too bad in my opinion. Let's do that. Oh, uh, legendary, nice. Uh, cell value 53. Okay, we can actually extract that one and use it. Or, we could just equip it right now. Because I don't think I want to put it on a weapon. I think we'd want to just... Uh, what does that have? Okay. Critical strike damage. Yeah, we'll just do that. Cool. And then a ring. Do rings have good cell value? Not, not really. That was 150 gold. Uncommon bow. Okay, we've got more DPS. Vulnerable damage, distant enemies, basic skill damage. Uh, yeah, okay, but what do we get? Uh, not that much. Distant enemies and 14 decks. Hmm, yeah, not enough. Yeah, we get. That knockdown effect is nice. No items? Okay. Alright, we'll just leave that one then. Anyone know how to change the default town portal location? There should be an option here, right? Hmm.
But anyway, we'll go back to. Actually, we'll, we will go back to Kevin Shed and unlock some stuff. Got some food between my teeth. Sorry, guys. Alright, we want to go up to. What is it? The healer, right? Not the healer, but rings and amulets, and ah, oh, right down here. Should look at the map. Can't do that here. But we'll do stuff. Okay, there's a boat we can actually purchase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's this one? Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Fair trade. Uh, damage reduction. I think we could try and salvage well. the rest of really. it. Let's have a look at you. Hmm? Look. Uh, let's just do all magic. You can take what's left. Yeah. And all common. Sweet. Uh, let's upgrade just as part of the crest reward. Uh, plus nine. Yeah, actually, let's do something else. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Come back if you need work. Do it later. Because we've got this one here, plus 52. Vulnerable damage. We lose basic skill. We're getting vulnerable. Uh, well, I mean, we're gaining 33% damage all up. And it's not that expensive. So let's Many thanks, traveler. get that one. Be wary on the road. Uh, equip that one. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, we'll do a salvage on that. That's good salvage. And follow the quest line here to unlock the potions. Okay, yep, yep. Well, you. Go there. Okay, that's good enough. So we've sold some stuff. Actually, I wonder if we could use something in our stash to further boost our damage. I don't think you can set the portal to a different town, but you can just click on any waypoints you have unlocked on the map and tell it to them. Yeah, I want to just be able to directly go to town uh, required level 7. Oh gosh, okay, I should have considered that first. And these ones as well. Right. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's straight up just equip that. And let's bring those in too. Yeah, why not? We're going to twink ourselves a little bit. So, ah oh, there, that's, that's a ton better. 40% movement speed, shadow step. I don't think we really need that one. And what does this one do? The only thing we lose is to all stats. Cold imbuement though. Uh, we don't need cold imbuement. Intelligence, willpower. Let's just use that just to get rid of that beak look. I don't like I don't like this look at all. So we could salvage that. We just bought that one, but we'll salvage that too. And we'll put this one away. And then there's always these ones here too. Critical strike damage. Bring that one in 
and what's this one got? All right, we'll compare those. We lose movement speed, actually. How come I'm keeping this one? I have no idea. All right. Critical strike damage. How come it's saying I'm losing critical strike damage? Why? It's actually got more. That's bizarre. It's not calculating correctly. I'm going to write that down as a bug. Unless I'm missing something. I think it's saying, because it's missing that one at the top, so therefore it's saying it's missing damage, but <laughs> no, it's actually got higher. So let's actually equip this one. It's got close enemies and crowd controlled enemies as well. Uh, yeah, and better attack speed. Not that attack speed matters for us here, but anyway. Let's just go down here, we'll resell some of those. Uh, we'll get some gold back actually this Anything time. Anything else? Yes, except that. And what's this one? 531? Yep, okay. So we'll go down and we've already done the potions. Occultists we don't need yet. So I think really just go through the town portal back to the dungeon. some more stuff here. Definitely feeling better.
Whoops, I forgot about that. Hey, murmuring orbs. Nice. Boss takedowns are feeling good. Oh. Try that again. Okay, so through here. Just lay one in the middle. One skill point can go to... What else do we have here? 20% chance. Well, I don't have impugnment skills, so we'll do this one for now. So, what does that do again? It's... It uh, increases poison damage to enemies in, standing inside. Right. Does that mean, like, if I use penetrating shot standard, it increases that too? I'm not sure. I wouldn't have made it without you. Man, that is so nice. Uh, rapid fire, lucky hit chance, and intelligence. Um, I don't know about that one. Lucky hit chance, lucky hit chance. We don't need rapid fire either. All stats. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Attack speed. Only 1% though. Damage is slowed. Enemies and max life. Uh, yeah, this one here. Uh, anything that we find in here pretty much at the moment is going to do lower damage. At least for now. We've got pretty OP items at the I need moment. More time. 
Okay, so down here, do down here first. Actually, no, we'll do that bit later. We'll do up here, then we come back down, do time. down there, and then should be it. I need time to do that. We've got artillery shrine here. Pretty much kill everything in one shot at the moment. <laughs> Piece of cake. Let's get that one. Okay, then back down here. Cool. I need more time. Oh, Found Poison Rogue was one of my favorites. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Um, so I guess we could just go back to town. We'll just use Kerber Shed. Um, Elzerath, did you work out how to change the town portal location to be like a different town? Uh, anyway, what did we find here? Rapid fire. We lose crit strike. Oh, do we? A little bit. Twisting blades. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Up, up, up. Yeah, sell everything else. Can I help you? Or we'll salvage. Let's go salvage. Uh, sadly, it only goes to the main hub town, unless you select a waypoint manually on the map. Yeah, that's what I found as well. Any upgrades we can buy? Not even close. We kind of twink this character a little bit with this bow, so I think we're pretty good on damage for now. Uh, what can we do now, though? I think pretty much just go back and do the dungeon again. Oh shit, it doesn't reset the map when I do that. Right, so I gotta do this. Okay, that makes sense. So if you ever want to go back to town during a dungeon, then it doesn't reset the map. Alright, so if we click on here, that should reset the dungeon. We will see. No. Okay, so we actually do have to go back to town. But we have to leave the dungeon first.
Yeah, there is a reset dungeon, but I think it resets all dungeons. So I'm not sure if I quite want to do that or not. Okay, so we just click on that again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I do, actually. Ah, oh, it still didn't work. Okay, fine. I think, uh... Alright, let's do the reset all. See if that works. This doesn't work, I'll log it as a bug. Okay, sweet. Any time to do that. Where's the next one? Ah, oh, he got out of the way. Alright, so we'll pick up all this stuff and then just double back for any items that we missed. To where we got the shrine. Oh, in the chest. So I can see here, maybe potentially this one. All stats are so overrated. The willpower, total armor. I don't think I like the loss of damage there, so keep on going up here. Ah, oh, that's the second stage. I need time to do that. Hmm, pardon me. Did I leave something out? I thought I did for a sec there. Oh, okay. Time to walk back. What was I shooting at there? Just wish there was a more more variety in the dungeons. If I see that poison boss one more time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this one down. Oh, 
Oops. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, one more till we get combo points. So, we're not quite down there. Thinking, um, uh, dash is enough, penetrating shots maxed. We've already got the vulnerable one here as well, so I think we will get Dark Shot now. Okay, that's nice. I was just happy to get the world boss on a necro. Yeah, there's one coming up in time. two and a half hours. And then four and a half hours from now. Crossbow, yeah, it's still nowhere near enough. I need time to do that.
And one more up here. Which looks like we kind of missed. I need time to do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we've got to leave the dungeon. Reset the dungeon. And then go back through. I think that could work well enough. Uh, looks like some kind of thing over here, actually. Let's go and do it. Watch out! Uh, what do I need to do? Just hold out. But actually protect them. Do the dungeon again now. Uh, physical damage, physical damage for cold resist, shadow resist, total armor. Hmm. Critical strike damage. Yeah, this display is a bit buggy actually. So there is critical strike damage on this one as well, but it's just not showing up in the properties loss when equipped part. Oh well, they might fix that one day. So two and a half hours until world boss. Might have a whiskey before that actually. Okay, cool. Nothing around here. I need more time. Well, yeah. 
I'm not ready yet. Protection Shrine. What does that mean? Okay. Let's see how this works. Does it make enemies vulnerable or something? What does it do? Invulnerable and unstoppable. Okay. Let's kind of do this then. Pretty easy. Skill point. There's a couple of bosses down here. Oh, easy. Oh, if I run out of space already. Okay. Uh, ones? Uh, okay, whatever. Too much. Hmm. Shark it out. What was that one? Cold resist. Boots and simple bow can go away as well. Oh, a ring. Here we go. What's this? Gain 12 of your primary resource for every 20% of your life that you heal. Okay. Um. I think this might be a good one because we've got also life on kill as well. But look at that. Great life on kill. This has also got. Oh, it's just max life. Okay. Crowd control, damage over time, for life on kill. Critical strike, chance, and damage. 
Damage to slowed enemies. Three life and kill. Alright, let's do that. Strider's shoes. Wow, there's like traps and stuff in here. Okay. Kind of sad if you seem the blue items will be purely ignored after the start of the game. Yeah, I think sad but true, man. <laughs> Blue items are actually good in D2R, so I hope it's the case that they have like specialist stats that you can improve if you really wanted to use those. Now, I remember those cruel matriarchal bows and grand matron bows back in the day, those are pretty cool. Oh, a unique bow as well, no way. It's unfortunately not as good, but Rapid Fire has a 40% chance to ricochet to another target. Yeah, I think I might just get the extract out the aspect on that, but not use it. Uh, this one we chuck down. I think we can actually do this. Do we skip anything? Okay, back here. Uh, no. Healing well. Oh, bless you. Okay, we've got five more. Has to be. Let's go this way. Diablo with a couple of hits. Ah, oh, cool Thunder Mole. Ah, yeah, yeah. I honestly remember when Lot first came out, and I struggled hard. But then it was probably because I was using the classic setup of like the rare Gothic bow, and uh, yeah. So that's not going to do too much damage. So the rare gothic row from the classic days of Diablo 2, that with strafe, felt pretty good. The strafe as well was like, Bless shoots 40 you. arrows at level 20 or something. So just standing there for like a whole minute, <laughs> and then just um, killing mobs with it. Boss pack. 
Um, I'm guessing we're going backwards, yes. Okay. Go back up here. I was kind of like, where are these other ones? I need time to do that. at full life and I think I've got everything else so uh, leave dungeon or is it better to do this we'll do a TP reset the dungeon and then come back so that might work or do we lose the town portal because we've got it in the dungeon so we do like this Campaign dungeons won't be affected. Okay, so if we do that and then this, see what happens. Ah, oh, it takes us back to the start, great. Okay, they have thought of that. That's cool. I need time to do that. There's you in place, that's nasty. Can't carry any more. Ah shit. Forgot to clear my stuff, so I might actually I bought this dungeon. My bags are full. I'll have bought this dungeon and then come back. Forgot to sell. Uh just make sure we've got everything before we go back. Okay, this one as well. Uh, what do we lose? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Movement speed. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's go back. Hey, G Stacks, how you doing, mate? Might be coming from the chest itself. Uh, yeah. Uh, didn't end up being the case. So we can, actually we will just sell, 
Uh, let's just see if we've got anything half decent here. Movement speed. But we've got one max evade charge, so probably not. Crossbow and ring. I think we can sell up everything else at this point. Distant enemies, crowd controlled enemies. About to play a necro. Oh, have fun with that. I heard it's really good. Uh, anyone know what it means by distant enemies? Like how far away from the character? Because 7.5 distant enemies is actually not bad. And in close damage, well, yeah, 13% is substantial, but it's not most of the enemies you're hitting. Distant enemies are out of melee range, so really it's just within like 2 meters, or outside of 2 meters is considered distant. Yeah, okay. If you can't hit it with a melee weapon, it's distant. Right. Farewell, and okay. good fortune. 4 skill damage, damage over time, legendary power. Okay, I think we'll swap that over then. Definitely not that. Lucky hit chance. Lucky hit chance. Jeez, it's kind of hard to compare like a lot of this stuff and just be able to play fairly quickly. So I think we just do one, two. Max life. No. no. Well struck. Movement speed. No, no, no. Fair trade. Okay, keep that one over here. Rare ones we'll try and salvage. This one here, all stats. I feel like I'm clinging on to this 1.5% crit strike chance. Lucky hit chance. I don't know which one's much better. I think I'll salvage the rest though. Let's go salvage. Uh salvage that one as well and we'll keep this one above average roll on the rapid fire aspect here so we'll extract that out a bit later what are we at 180,000 uh, but we also want to do the true potential as well where is that way up here so we'll do this after the dungeon Uh, thanks for that info, G-Stacks. This wasn't too sure. Okay, so actually the distant enemy one's pretty good then. Need time to do that. Level 16, nice. Okay, we finally get our poison imbuement now, so let's go shunk. And what do we have here? Uh, rank of dash. So that reduces the cooldown, but only by half a second. Still a good one to sell off. But the human actually. Need time to do that.
Ah, watch out for the inventory floor. Okay, let's check the stuff out. Okay, items are gradually getting better. So we're going to collect a few more. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. Okay, which way, which way, up here? No, that should be all of it. Oh, we skipped some. I need time to Damn. do that. I have come to these caves to be in service for my master. He has promised me both life and blood. Resilience is the world. Quotes. What a race of shrine. I crave such. I don't know how I did not see that because there's an item on the strength. ground as well. I was born weak into a world that has no tolerance for it. I continue so to be let's go with to feed my um. master. But I know that one day, soon, I will be reborn anew. His evil and his ally and his kin. This day will come. This day will come. Time to do that. Time to do that. Bless you. Is. 
And if I could do the butcher right now, that will be good. So we miss one up here. Hey, another legendary. Where is it? Over here. This one injured while crowd control grants you unstoppable. Uh what's the roll? Is this forty to twenty? Ah, uh, anti perfect. Oh damn. Alright. Okay, so we'll go down here. I need more time. Hey, one more to go. Come on, let's go. I need time to do that. So we just TP out. Don't particularly care for how they did the tooltip on item rolls. Showing them backwards, like that has been confusing. Yeah, I think you just need to remember that if it's showing backwards, then it's basically saying it's worst to best. Uh, like for all items, it'll be worst to best. So we've got, uh, we lose a lot here actually. Crit strike damage. This one here, penetrating shot. Oh, this one sounds good. Let's use that. And poison damage. Hmm. Cold resist. Yeah, we'll lose a little bit. You know what? Let's do it. Crit strike damage 4.5. Crit strike damage. So this one's actually got more crit strike damage on it. Crowd controlled enemies and distant enemies. Oh, we lose distant as well. Pants while injured. Uh, maximum life as a barrier. Okay. So movement speed and dash. Uh, I think we said we're gonna. Get rid of that one because I do like the extra evade charge over just getting 40% movement speed. Arms for the light. So just Anything go else? boom 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 boom. Except boom 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 boom. Be yeah. wary on the road. Yeah, I will, thanks. Um so we want to do the side quest now actually. So true potential go out this way. <laughs> Just not used to seeing it like that. Yeah. Because I don't think it was... Well, it doesn't really show that in D2. Seems to be a... Some kind of thing over here. What is it? It's marked on the map, but can't seem to click on anything. How do I do it? 
Guess I can't. Okay. Keep going. Actually, what's this? Someone's here? skipping it a little bit here but let's see if this gets us there Ministad. oh new town that's right yes who the hell are you mm. i heard you can teach me <laughs> i run she took to So where do we have to go? Is it here? No, where? I think they need to make the indicators a little bit better with the quests. Oh, okay, right. So it's showing as a blue... This one here. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. I suppose I could just follow the brown line and it'll take us there. No, it's not. I need time to do that. No, I'm not ready yet. Wait, why is it? Did I miss something? Ah. Oh. Okay. Dead. Huh. One of our new sisters. Look close. Blood everywhere, but only one stab wound. A quick kill. And they tossed the remains to one. Messy, but it covered their tracks. Smart. So, dodge chance. Two maximum life. Yeah, any day. Cool. Up here. Down then, okay. So now yeah, let's just hit two o'clock here. What's this? now up here this one does take a while to get uh, okay we're here go in here
Another amulet. Energy cost reduction. Damage reduced from distant enemies. Nah. I'm not ready yet. Time to do that. Another legendary, nice. So this time, increase armor for four seconds. When you do any form of damage, stacking up to forty-five percent. Okay, low roll, but we get damage. We get damage reduction, healing received, and cooldown reduction. Oh god, this is heaps better. Well, I guess we weren't really expecting it to be much worse, eh? Um, this one here... What's a level requirement? 20. Alright, we'll save that for later. Pop that down there. Definitely salvage that, and I think we're all good to continue. have made it without you. 
Jeez, even just walking past stuff sometimes disrupts the uh, map. That's cool. One here. I need more 
time. I'm not ready yet. Money, 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 money. Hmm. Uh, where do we want to go? Up here. So now I need to get out of the dungeon. Diablo 4's hidden loot filter? I'll watch that later. It's not bad. Ah, I have to go back in. Um... 
Uh, okay, through here. What was that? Is it one of these? Poor rat. Um, guessing, yep, keep going time down to here. Out. And there should be another boss fight over here. But jeez, it makes you walk all the way through the dungeon to get there. I need time to do that. Bakira. My Rana. Got the coin. But it messed up my head. I saw worms digging. In, in people's hearts. Can we like skip this dialogue? Where is it, sister? No. No! It's mine! You won't take it from me! Tried to kill myself. Stop this fight from ever happening. For all the good it did, you were a fighter to the last. You taught me well. <sighs> I think we're gonna go this one here what eventually. This literally doubles everything after all things considered, so crits and Vulnerable, everything else. At least that's what I think happens anyway. Whereas this one just increases damage more consistently. But, actually, is Poison Trap considered an imbuable skill? No. Alright, so we get this one and then this one here. So, cool. And then, top this. Okay, what do we need to do now? Okay, quest is complete. So we've got combo points. We can go to... Let's just go back. Let's sell some stuff. What do we get? There's a resource one. And it gets kind of complicated as you go. So it's like, you kind of have to weigh up every single item that you find. I don't know how to address that if you can at all. Damage reduced from distant enemies. 10 strength, 14 max light. Damage reduction from distant enemies. Maximum life, strength. Probably no on that one. And I think we need gold more than salvage material, so we'll go. Sells right. Well click. struck. Sell that. That one. That one. Stuff we can't use, we just sell. Fair trade. Twenty-one. So we lose those amulets. Uh, not that one. This. Cold Immunement. Oh yeah, that's a Cold Immunement one. Okay. That one. And Smoke Grenades, Damage Reduction, and Thorns. Yeah, Barrier we don't need. Potions also grants. Yeah, that's that one there. Uh, willpower. Distant Enemies. Yeah, we'll just sell that. Just kind of weigh these ones a little bit. 
26 and 59. Damage to poisoned enemies, decks, and close enemies. Hmm, close enemies as well. We get plus 11. That might be okay. Okay, we'll sell everything else. Anything else? And this one is... Thirteen decks and one socket. Okay, we do get a socket as well. Just sell that. And we want to go back down here again, don't we? The knight and the magpie. That's the campaign quest. And we want to go back and do this dungeon. Or we do a stronghold. Get some renown points and all that sort of stuff, maybe. Let's have a look. Father, is that... No! Where are these on the map? shooting from here. Not really, huh? Oh well. I need more time. Will you help me, stranger? You're a saint. Help 
time to do that. You're a saint. Time to do that. Time to do that. Uh, where else down here? Is that out? Yes, it's out. Oh, actually, no, we want to get the items. Shit, <laughs> I forgot. Um, okay, down here. Alright, cool. So I guess we could keep grinding this if we want to. The experience is not bad. Um... Do we actually want to get another one of these? Increased movement speed and critical strike chance. Actually, probably not. Let's do that one. Let's see. Oh, extra damage. Not bad. Basic skill damage. Distant enemies though. 16 all stats and two sockets. Yeah, that's a no-brainer, pretty much. Rank to barrage, penetrating shot. Uh, no. Okay, Let's sell everything else. Dark days upon us. Fair trade. Hey, he's sick. Got an upgrade. And we'll just go back here, see if we can land another instance or not. And we just keep grinding it. It kind of looks... No, it looks done actually, doesn't it? Go the occultist, and we can almost gamble pretty soon as well. So once that's ready, um, quest maybe. Ah, uh, okay. Have to unlock it. Let's try again. I have a feeling you might have to leave the actual game. Okay, we're back. Okay, that's pretty sweet. We can do it again. This way. Uh, 
Uh, which way down? Okay. What up? Only time to do that. That's outwards. Okay, there's one here oh, though. Oh, will you help me, stranger? Wouldn't have made it without you. Gee, what a bad throw that was. Uh, this one here too. Do just stand there. Help me. Okay, up here. Can we go up here? Oh, okay. To jump across one. How do we go up? Is it this way? Don't just stand there, help me. You're a saint. Mastery remaining? What's that all about? Oh my god. Okay, and TP. Man, this windowed mode is a little annoying. Lucky hit chance, and we lose a penetrating shot though. Two poison damage, but okay, not much else there. Okay, max evade. Shadow step. Okay, it's all self. Well struck. Do we need to wait for how long exactly? Rings and amulets. Uh, okay, for life on kill, damage over time, and crowd control. Okay. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe pour myself a whiskey soon. Cut gambits. No, thanks. To see armor merchant. Let's see if we could do an actual upgrade here. T 
12,000 bucks for what's basically a like a 2% upgrade. Uh, I don't know. Come back if you need work. Yeah. Let's just keep going. We're bound to find some better items anyway. No point spending money now. Ah, oh, okay. I guess... I guess this works based on, like, if someone arrives in the zone and does the challenge or something, like they create a new instance, then you could go back and join them or something. I'm not sure. Let's do the upgrading one later. Keep it. I can I don't keep my I think actually what we could do is upgrade boots or something. Boots or pants. Okay, so we can select boots. It gives us slightly more and more boots. Okay, so we could select pants. And that gives us... Okay, that's more expensive though. 3,000? Yeah, no way. Three grand for some extra lucky hit. I think we'll do this one. There we go, quest done. And we'll go through the portal again. Yeah, I think it's a variable timer on this, based on whoever comes back. So I wonder if there's some stuff nearby town that we can do, just to kind of kill a bit of time. Maybe explore down here, actually. Then we can get the waypoint, and then we can come back and do that. Okay, not much in there. Ah, uh, chests. Gold is kind of hard to come by in this game. Time to do that. So not down there, but through here. <laughs> Nothing else. Actually, that didn't explore I much. But uh, trigger that one. This one here. We got separated. 
My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. You wanderer. Without you, I'd be dead. I think I can manage from here. Please, take this. Nice. Got some boots. Okay, so my tank ability is not that fantastic. S let's just go over here. Oh, come on. Did you walk here too? <laughs> I will pray for our feet. Your kind. I don't want. Do you see now, Lack? Then those were. A yes. Thank you. Okay, get a heal from this fella, and anything from here. Max of eight charge. But we lose movement speed, lower damage, and just mods that we don't need. Okay. So we'll sell that off. Good. What else you want? Actually, we can see what he's got in shop. Is there a arm? Uh, blacksmith. Uh. Where's the other vendor? Armor vendor. Notice board. Up here, what's this? <laughs> no, no. I see. A shame. Death. Yes. Back there. Why? <laughs> Not in town. So. In and up in here. That light. I was hoping. The merchants were ambushed at a camp just before the pass. All right, we'll go back we to where my TP is. Okay, so one and one hour and a bit. Or oh, my TP disappeared, man. I can't do that here. Oh, it must have been... No, I didn't use a TP to get out of the dungeon, actually. Uh, no.
So it's all the way up here. this I need time to do that I need more time Ready yet? Oh, what was that? I need more time. Do we make it into another instance here? Maybe I have to do a reset dungeon actually. Try going back. Let's do some side questy type stuff here. Yes, well, both. Say if a reset does it. Mm, no, I still didn't do it. Say if a leave game does it. Try it out. Actually, what we could do, we'll just do some quick gambling. I'm not ready yet. Three, three, four. We could actually, um, yeah, we'll pop the chest as well. But let's see if we can get a upgrade or. Hmm, damage reduction. Boots. Pants. We get boots actually too. What's this one got? Movement speed and shadow step and evade cooldown. Three three four three six one. Might actually twink some of my stuff for my character here too. Three nine five. Uh otherwise we could go. Crossbows. A bit of magic in that one. Three, seven, eight. Okay. It seems your prayers have been answered. Okay, we've got another one of those. Right, what was the other one here? Thirty-two percent, sixty-six. Uh, still a bad roll. Three, nine, five. 
387, 378. So we'll bring that down there. It's only one socket though. Okay, and then we've got 50 more. So we'll do that on a couple of gloves. Hmm, fair bit of magic in that one. Barrage attack speed. Uh, Okay, we can actually migrate this across. Yep. Alright, sweet. And um, what we can even do is well, we'll sell some of this stuff. We'll pop the chests. So we'll sell first. No, I'm not ready yet. Um Use ward. We'll go boom, boom, well struck. boom, boom, boom. Uh, no, 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 no. And this one, barrage attack speed, flurry, no. Three, six, one. Uh, sell that off. What's the level requirement? Sixteen, fourteen, and fourteen. All right. Oh, check the armor vendor, see if he's got any decent boots or something. Basic attack skill speed. Life on kill and cold impugnment. Okay. I need more time. Uh, righties. One, two, three. Combine gems. Oh. Right. Yeah, I forgot we got crude and chipped. So we right click on this to use. Okay. Contains murmuring orbs. Sweet. Okay, sweet. Uh, murmuring orbs. Murmuring orbs. Herbs. Elixirs. Alright, let's pop all these. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five. And, oh, we've got one of these ones too, nice. Okay, we've got herbs, herbs, four. Herbs and, okay, so we've still got some things and we've got this one as well. Sweet. Stealth and attack enemies with a basic skill increases damage of your next core skill by 5% up to 50% chance. Oh, nice. And that is... That's the lowest roll. All right. Well, we can pop these in here. One, two, three. Four whole stats. And this one as well. So that's 401 item power, 387, 414. Okay, nice. So maybe just gamble a little bit more. I need more time. Yeah, we've got 150. Uh, I'd say we could go gloves and boots. So we'll get boots actually. One, two, three, it's four, five, oh, six. It seems your prayers have been answered. So seven movement speed. 
Max evade charge. Oh, that one seems handy. Okay. Rank of dash. Seven movement speed. Tax reduces, evades cooldown. That might be usable in this one, actually. 8.4% movement. 7% movement. And crits grant 15% movement speed for one second. Up to six seconds. Oh, wow. Okay. That's nice. Might actually try it out on this character. Uh, I think that one's a bit more useless. Rank of dash. Okay. I don't think we crit too much with our other characters. Let's have a look at this. Just because we've got... Uh, Shadow Imbuement adds crit chance as well. That one, not all that useful. The grenade skills counts as trap. Whenever you arm a trap or drop a grenade, you gain 40% increased movement speed for 3 seconds. Uh, yeah. It doesn't have any natural movement speed on it though. But, we could extract the Essence. But that one's really nice. So that's for this character. We can extract that on the other character. And... Salvage or sell the rest. Okay, one, two... Three. Oh, that could be nice too. Alright, so we'll put the left one in the stash. And then we'll go back. Actually, we could try and do... The stronghold again. So, way out here. Yeah, we'll go up here again. I need more time. And then we'll go back to the poison one and just level all up again. Now, for the event, we're going to get there in about half an hour, basically. And so, for that one, I'll probably use... Maybe I could use just this one again. I need more time. I need time to do that. The ultimate on W, right? I'm not ready yet. I 
more time. I'm not ready yet. Is it? I need more time. Oh, unique. Uh, not unique. Legendary. No, what? That hit me. Okay, we did it anyway. Okay, let's check that out. Uh, crits with marksman skills have up to 50% chance to grant a free dust route. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. that on the other character as well. Uh, this is a max roll. Nice. Uh, what else does it give though? Concealment, poison trap, and smoke grenade. Okay. Alright, we'll get out of here. Uh, we'll just go back here, start game. We'll, we'll have a look at our upgrades, and then we'll basically queue for the world event. Uh, okay. Do that. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, is there anything here right now? No, okay. I should switch these around. So put all the pre-buffs next to each other key-wise. Oh, they already are, I think. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, so we can pop this one down here. Right. Let's go up here. What is this one? 323 attack power. What, uh, yeah, damage per second. Yeah, 323 damage per second. And. Okay, nice. That one's pretty crap. Okay. Uh, poison damage, sure. Shadow safe lightning rays. Alright. 
Let's have a look at this. So, easy upgrade. We lose that 26%, but just the damage increase is good enough. Vulnerable and basic skill damage. Plus we get that penetrating shot buff as well. Uh, this one here, increase crowd control duration and deal 50% increased damage to unstoppable enemies. Well, it's better than anything else we've got. So we sell that. Attacks with... What's this one? Okay. So attacks with basic skills. Okay. Which we do kind of use sometimes. Damage to close enemies, damage over time, and core skill damage. Okay, sure. Healing receive all agility, all subterfuge. So that includes poison trap as well. Break stealth. I uh, don't know about that one. We lose penetrating shot. No, not that one. We grenade skills counts as traps. You gain forty percent movement speed. Uh, we lose movement as well, so probably not that. And crit strikes. When while injured, your potions also grant thirty percent movement speed for two seconds. Okay. Concealment, Poison, Trap, Smoke, Grenade. Uh, oh, that's the free... Um, yeah, okay. Thorns. I do, I don't know. Because we don't crit very often, do we? 6.9%. Six don't know. On the other hand, we do gain Poison Trap. And this one here. Okay. Put the rest back. Four oh one. So I've got a pretty good crossbow now. Which can we can also upgrade as well. Sell the rest of the shop, I think. Close enemies, critical strike, basic skill damage. Reduces the cooldown of your next subterfuge by 20%. Yeah, okay, so that's like... Yeah, that helps with poison trap. Increases the damage of your next core skill by 5%. Okay. We'll get rid of the rest. And we can then go back. Be wary on the road. Dark days upon us. You need a proper weapon. Uh, let's do a... Can we right click to select that one? Plus nine. Vulnerable damage, basic skill damage. Twelve percent vulnerable. That's Let's there. Go for it. Come back if you need work. Sweet. So F for imbuement, W for poison trap. Now, see if we could do the Stronghold Challenge again.
Guardia. Just like one shotting these enemies here. Uh, where are they up here? Okay, let's go. go it's done just like that uh, should we do some side quests actually Hello to Oris already, okay. Yeah. But well, sort out some of this stuff first. Anything else? Uh what does upgrading this cost and do? About the same, but much more expensive. All right. Well, we've got 10 minutes until the next one. So let's see if we could do another one of these. And if not, we'll go back and jump onto our... Sh Should we do this with a cold one, actually? We'll do it with a cold. We can apply vulnerable. Sweet. Complete. Nice. Another chessy. And we get another skill. Pretty cool. Um, po increase poison damage, or we could just keep buffing our poison trap. Hmm. Tough questions. Say poison trap. Did we get anything good from here? No. No. Okay, solar. Arms for the light. Barrage, rapid fire. Well struck. And amulets. I think our amulets good. Okay. Anything else? Try and do another one. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
low on energy. energy. Get up here again. Oh, we just engage this guy. All right, we'll make our way there now. Just because it might take about uh, seven, five minutes just to get there. Okay, so let's have a look. Dark Shroud, Willpower, no, I don't think it's good enough. And yeah, we'll sell that too. Yeah, world boss, gonna just jump in in a sec. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all good. So let's leave this game. Uh, we'll try it with this one, Cold Boa. So we'll go down here. Do I get access to my stash in this town? That's a question. Doesn't look like it. So I think we'll just make do with the gear on our backs. And we'll do one, two, three. Okay, sweet. with this stuff. Oh, it's a dead end here. I need more time. So w. Keep it going. Challenge. Oh, what? 
Fuck, it's gone the wrong way. Yeah, definitely don't have time for this challenge then. I need time to do that. Fuck, how do you get there? upgrade as well so I'll try and do that just beforehand. I need more time. Yeah I thought you had to get there 30 minutes prior. Got some rares. I need time to do that. And I think we're here. Okay, cool. So I mean like, yeah, we can take the TP and we've got a little bit to gamble with as well. Oh looks kinda cool in the dark actually. So it's here, right? The most recent one I jumped in a couple of minutes before. Because I think you have to be there five minutes before so you can actually opt into it. But, okay, so we're here. Let's have a look. Crit, lucky chance. We lose attack speed. But does the lucky chance contribute to anything over here? Cold imbued skills have up to 30% chance to make enemies vulnerable for three seconds. Hmm. Yeah, that's that one there. Does it do anything else apart from that? Probably not. Okay, so that's 3.5% in crit, crit chance as well. Probably a small concession to sacrifice that attack speed for those two mods together. I think it might be worth it. Plus the extra survivability. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's go and do that. Right, so... Just gonna make sure that it actually appears on map before I go back to town. Power Trops isn't going to be particularly useful for us in this one, I think. Ugh. So, what else is on the news? Okay, I've got a trade re offer for a Burr Rune. So, let's check that out as well. Uh, so, this is in D2R this time. So, Burr Rune and Burr Rune. Let's have a look. Someone is giving me a faith. Heck no. It's a one to all skills tool for that faith. No way, dude. Oh, and dragon? I'm just not looking for that stuff. Uh, not after it. And some other guy offered. Ja, it's. Uh, I don't know, I'll sit on that one. Okay, anyway. What's this? Damage increase while standing still. 
Okay. Uh, let's see if we can actually do some gear upgrades with this one before we enter. Yeah, so I'm trying to sell my burr runes at the moment. Trying to get Jar and Oms. I probably should have jumped on that earlier. But, oh well, anyway. Let's have a look at the stuff. Crossbow. Best armor in the peaks. I think you, for cold, you definitely want a bow, actually. Just because you actually apply the same amount of chill, I think. Doesn't matter the damage. Poison, you want a crossbow to apply that larger poison damage. In shadow, I, th I think as well you want a crossbow to apply that greater shadow damage as well. Um, okay, anyway, let's have a look at what's in here. Lucky and crit. Flurry, we don't need flurry. We've got sockets we can play with too, actually. Safe journey there. But let's see what's in our stash. Ha! Hope there's a good bow in our stash. Uh, we've got to do a potion upgrade as well, so I've got to remember that. No bows in our stash? Dang. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. 57, 48, and 34. Oh, okay. So the item power is actually better. Close enemies. Close enemies. Distant enemies. And does this one have any distant? Core skill damage. Right, that one's got core skill damage. Okay, looks like I'm going to be upgrading uh, this fella then. 435 per second. Oh god, that's actually not too bad. Alright, let's upgrade that. But, where can we do the potions? Not the healer. Was it up here? Jeweler and cultist. Forgot we did a potions. Is it this one? Add sockets, upgrade jewelry. So what? If we select that, what does it do? Movement speed, healing received, damage reduction. Four, five grand. Yeah, all right. Let's do that one. Have a look at what the upgrade is for this. Slowed enemies, crowd controlled, damage over time. Probably not so much that. Close enemies, vulnerable. No, not that one. Okay. What about this? Actually, what about unsocket, add sockets? Can maybe add sockets to this one. We could also imprint in legendary on this too. Crafting. May the light keep you. We need to bring more. Oh, player titles. Okay. Enchant item, craft sickles, extract aspects. Eh, not too bad. What's this one for? Ah, uh, that's the bubble one, okay. I'll probably pop that on the on the crossbow. It's got an empty socket, because I don't think the mods itself are very good. Increased damage to unstoppable enemies. Yeah, okay. Uh, we will do the extract. Ah, done. Uh, maybe not that one so much. Craft Sigils. Enchant item. 
Add an item to the slot and select an affix to replace. Okay. Let's get rid of damage over time, maybe. And let's add... 40 decks. Father bless. Hey, nice. Okay. How do we upgrade potions? Uh, so they're offering, um, someone else is offering a jar and an ist, which I might take it, but then I might not. We'll see. Oh, this one over here. I think it's the alchemist. Nice. Found it. Upgrade, please. Uh, okay, we need 30 for that. But cool. We've done the upgrade now. Let's get some gems. Upgrade some gems. We could probably add another socket to this too. And let's go one. So this is our ship's collection. This is our crude collection. So we've got, what is this one? Overpower damage. Max life. Okay. Critical strikes versus crowd control enemies. Mm hmm. Vulnerable enemies. Basic skill. Overpower. Ultimate skill. Damage over time. And life on kill. Ah, uh, if only there was like core skill one. I feel like the sockets aren't particularly that great. But we could do life on kill on, I don't know, let's say this one over here. The basic skill damage. Crit strike damage, crit strike damage. Because we're not going to be using ultimate too much, are we? No, no, I ditched the ultimate. Yep, that's true. But we can do... Do that. Uh, this one goes back. Have just not enough. We can probably pop that one in here. Let's just pop a moment here for now. Get rid of that. And we can do the upgrade on this too. But Something for the cold here. and dark. Fire resist, cold damage, physical damage, two sockets. What do we get? No. Flurry, no. Critical strike and lucky hit chance. But we lose values on all those Stay as on well. Alright, so let's do an upgrade on this one here. 15 grand. Mm. Let's kind of do this one. Then we'll go back to the gem artist over here. I've got 20 minutes. So I've got to be back in about 15 tops. And Amethyst damage taken over time, shadow resist. So we don't want Amethyst at all. Emeralds, we've got vulnerable enemy. Yeah, that one would be useful for our other character. So the shadow one, because that one applies vulnerable like crazy. But we can do Ruby. Which is more just survivability, if anything else, with the max life. But we don't have enough. Topaz, we've got basic skill damage. Damage reduction while control impaired. Yeah, that sounds not too bad. 
Sapphire, crowd controlled enemies. This is what we want for the cold one, actually. Unsocket, add sockets. Can we add a socket this to this one again? We can't. What does this require? Sacred prism. Uh, okay. Right. What if we just do that one? Oh, we can't do it for anything. Because we don't have the materials for it. Okay, we can upgrade jewelry. 10,000. Healing received and damage reduction. Ah, what the hey. Let's just do it. With that and we'll do the sapphires. Craft. Craft one more. And then we can basically just stick one in there. 7.5% critical strike damage to crowd control enemies. Okay, yep, sounds good. Because we've got the cow traps as well. Uh, can't add the socket. Vulnerable will save for later, but we can actually meld those now. What was it? It was the uh, emerald, wasn't it? So we'll do both. And amethyst, I kind of feel like they're fairly useless all around, unless for the poison one. Yeah, actually, let's do one, two, three, craft. And then we can actually then do... Mm, topaz, that's just basic skills. But it might be useful for us. Mm, I think skip on our basic skills. And chip diamonds, what do they do? Ultimates. Resist all. And then life on kill. Thirteen life on kill. Six. That might give us some sustain. We can save that for later. And then we can work. It's crowd controlled. Now I think for the A single target actually we could use this one the vulnerable is actually going to be good for shadow all round um all right we'll stick one in here stick one in here now they're weapons so that one has got 7.5 and 7.5 vulnerable and crowd control Cool. Now we can do max life. Healing received. Damage taken over time. Leave that for the poison one. And what does this do? While control impaired. Let's actually craft just one of those. Just pop that in there. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got some upgrades. Does this one have a socket? And we can't add sockets to anything else. Alright. Did we actually imprint... Can we imprint a legendary? That's probably the last thing we need to do. Got an aspect here. Increased crowd control duration. Yes. So we'll stick it on... Let's stick it on that one. Go to the occultist. Then eventually, when we want to dish that weapon, we can extract the, ax uh, can the essence again. Turn it special. So select the item, and then select the aspect. Okay. 
Comp? Why? Because it's a campound? Crowd control duration. Um... Can we try it here then? We could always extract it out later, so I'll just do that. Ah, good fortune that is. How much health we got? Four, four, three. Uh, we'll put everything else in the stash again. And then I'll basically just ready up and do the fight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 63, 54, and 40. I right, that one too. Then we can sell the rest. Raise the father. Man, it's so easy to spend gold in this game. We lost half of it. Hey Tomac, how you doing mate? Uh, we're just about to do the uh, world boss fight. So I'm going to do it with this cold one here. And so basically the way I've spec'd it out is... Got... Start from the top actually. So we've got Forceful Arrow, which applies Vulnerable. Uh, it doesn't do much damage, I haven't dumped a whole lot of points in here. Oh, we've got 15% increased strike chance on Forceful Arrow. Vulnerable. Then we've got maxed out penetrating shot with increased damage. And, and then this one here, the crit strike chance. We've got Caltrops, just a single point. But increased damage and then the dealing of the cold, damage, uh, cold chills on this one. This one actually does potentially freeze enemies as well, which is quite nice. Then we've got Dash with the increased critical strike damage. We've got Dark Shroud, a single point with increased movement speed. We've got Exploit. These are all just plus skill stuff here. Then we've got Cold Imbuement, which each point just chills slightly quicker. So I didn't dump a whole lot of points in there for that reason. But we've got uh, Vulnerable as well. But this only works like very occasionally. So it's kind of okay, but then it's like meh. And then this one adds just a 20% damage buff to crowd controlled enemies. Double this for Frozen. And then the ultimates, we don't actually have an active ultimate. We've just got an this one here, up to 30% chance to gain 8 energy, because this build is, the recovery of energy is actually not as good as Shadow as well. <laughs> You're feeling numb. Uh, numb from like, oh, dentist. Oh, okay, okay, all right. And then... Uh, specialization. Okay, I didn't actually have it selected there, but we did have combo points selected as well. So, in a site, I honestly don't like. I don't know. Like, I've just haven't found it to work very well. I think it might be okay on the poison one, because you've got traps that you can use with your core skill. And then you can use the traps to then get your inner sight gauge up. And then that works okay. But then combo points works more on like if you're just using a core skill together with your basic skill, then I think combo points is better. Alright, so we'll jump in to here. 
we're probably as ready as we can be for now and then i'll prep myself a, a drink um go to bathroom all that sort of stuff and and then we'll go ahead and do this so i'll be right back in about less than five minutes Alright, did I miss anything guys? Because I still don't see the prompt.
Was there a prompt for joining the event? Because I remember last time I had to accept it. But uh, I guess maybe it just happens a little bit later on. But I can still see this, so we're surely all right, yeah. Yeah, I remember I had to accept a prompt last time, so that's why I wanted to ask. Hmm. Anyway, I got myself uh, a whiskey the other day, uh, so it's like a uh, heated. Heated whiskey. I think that's a single malt. Oh, I haven't actually checked, but it's one of my favorite ones I used to drink Hello. Uh, a little bit a couple of years ago. Efficient. It's quite nice. So I got myself one of those Holt. bottles yesterday, or yeah, like yesterday when we went to the supermarket. It smells quite nice on the nose and very good to drink if you like the peated stuff. So, like smoky, smoky whiskey. So it's actually called Smokehead. Uh, I don't know what um, what place made it, or you know what region it's from as well. But well uh, yeah, look it up. It's called Smokehead, uh, as in Smokehead. Uh, could be an Australian thing, I'm not sure. It's probably not the most refined whiskey, but they, they kind of specifically just do this like really peated whiskey. And yeah, it's good. Hmm, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, I'm just going to pop the record on this just before we start. So I'll record this fight. I forgot to do that last time. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So who do we have here? There are so many necros. Oh my god. So we'll just prep the cooldowns or the pre buffs. I don't know if Caltrops actually works on him at all. Chilled enemies have reduced movement speed. Alright, watch what happens if I move and I hover the tooltip. See how it's blinking? It's because my character's actually getting buffed each second. And then it stops, so now I'm fully buffed. So I've got this thing where it's like... Uh... Deal 3% increased damage for each second you stand still. And so it's like 10 seconds, it takes to sort of pre buff my damage if I stand still. Uh, and then you'll notice that as well, like when I move, my attack power actually goes up. Yeah, so there we go, it's maxed out. Anyway, one minute to go. Okay, good luck boys. Five days I think we're safe as long as he doesn't move his arms around too much. There we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot we can get close as well.
Yeah, he hungry. Look at that. This. I need more time. Okay, we're back here. That's fine. level 18 here. So many poison clouds here.
Yeah, halfway. Jesus. Five days following in here. We've got like level eight teams here. Thank <laughs> you. 
done, he's done. Okay, nice. Good job, guys. Good Thank job. You. Yeah, okay. Well, that was deathless. So, I appreciate pretty happy that. with that. We died once last time, but then zero this time round. Because I think we, we've really nailed the pattern. Uh, Alright, so I guess we'll continue with... We'll go back to town, we'll check out what we got, and then we'll continue with the poison one. Okay, so I'll stop the recording. Try and upload that sometime. Uh, we got... Basic skills grant 25% re damage reduction. Okay. Okay, so the damage reduction is constant, but... Okay, 7.5, that's pretty good. Automatically drop a smoke grenade at the end of dash. Uh, that might be alright. Yeah, okay. That's good, that's good. And flurry... Don't need that one there. I've got a... Vulnerable damage legendary power, but this one grants... Critical strike damage and slowed enemies. Crowd controlled as well. It does more damage, but I don't think we really care too much about weapon damage here. And that one we can just sell. So we can sell these two, extract those two, and I don't know what to do. I think we just extract it, but don't bother with it. Got a few times on mine, so I haven't been able to do a deathless. Yeah, I, I guess with range is a little bit easier. On the other hand, if you're melee rogue, I think your DPS is like pretty crazy. That you just gun them down. Well struck. I was actually concerned for a bit there that uh, we wouldn't have enough DPS. With those level 18s as well. Yeah. Um, Alright, so we'll go to the occultist. Get rid of that. And, oh, it's alerting us to go to the stash. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll take that and let's pop and have a look. One, two, three. So we got 10% chance to create an arrow storm. Yes, oh, this is the one I wanted. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we could actually use this with rapid fire one day. And then we've got another bow. Revenant bow of vi volatile shadows. When a dark shroud shadow would be removed, an explosion around you would do 126. It's a little bit low. Uh, and then this one. Increased damage boy have a barrier active. Which we don't really use a barrier. But we could pop that there. That one's really good, we'll extract that for sure. And we'll pop that there. Sweet! Oh. Okay, that's that one. And... Saps. So these are occultist ones. You can attach it to. Well, this one also grants poison trap as well. Ah, oh, this one grants barrier. Okay, so this one. Where's the barrier one? Thirty-three percent increased damage while you have a barrier. Okay, well that's on the cards now. No movement speed, so yeah, we don't like the boots. Damage reduction from distant enemies. Strength, legendary power. So we can extract this one. 
vulnerable enemy with a core skill has up to a 16% chance of dealing, uh, dropping a healing potion. I think that one would actually be better on my... So I think we could actually... Basic skills grant. Yeah, okay. Hmm, lots to think about here. Uh, G-Stack, thanks for the donation, mate. Um, $5 US, well done. But yeah, your group got done quite quickly. Uh, well, compared to us anyway. Now, what do we want to do? I think we got them in the stash. We can e extract those out. Go to the occultist. And then we'll continue with the poison one's journey. Oh, wrong way. Still trying to figure out this map. Uh, wrong guy. Yeah, likewise. Thank you again. Uh, alright. We want to extract this one. Okay, it's going to cost a pretty penny. Actually. Mm, okay, not that one. Uh, let's do... Smoke Grenade. It's a low roll. We don't like the boots themselves, so get rid of that. Subterfuge. Damage reduction, max life. Subterfuge skills. Yeah. Okay, it's got damage. So this cranks our poison traps damage as well. So I do actually want to try this out with rapid fire. So we've got that, and then we've got this sword. So let's compare it against distant enemies. Basic skill damage, crits, and I really do like this aspect. Not so sure about the weapon itself. Well, I guess we could transfer these over. Then we've got the aspects here. Okay. Can we put the aspects in the stash? We can, yes. I should do that from now on. Okay. So, what, if I... I haven't actually used these quest ones yet. So what do we do with it? Okay, I don't know. But we'll transfer these over. And Dark Shroud... Look up, I think we'll just keep them in the stash as well. Flurry, I really don't need. Distant Critical Strike Vulnerable Core Skill. It's actually kind of okay to use in its own right. But, let's... Let's leave the game. Go back to our Poison one. Probably don't need to micromanage all of the gear upgrades at every interval. Probably like, just sit on the gear that I've got for a while and then just consider upgrades a little bit later. But let's have a look. Aspects, we don't have any here. Got the quest one as well. Right. So we can bring over one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then be like, okay, let's have a look. We'll lose a lot of stuff there. All stats, willpower, strength. So a lot of basic stats. Gain movement speed for two seconds. But I think this is a clear upgrade for sure. Bet sockets as well. Yep, let's do that. Salvage that and then we gain basic skill damage, core skill damage, overpower and damage to distant enemies. And what? This one had the barrier. Oh no, that's not the barrier one. That's flurry. This one... Why do you have a barrier? Oh, it's in the aspect. Shit, where did it go? Was it the amulet? No, it's not that one. Uh, okay, definitely not flurry, but... Crowd control enemies, damage over time. We want damage over time. And then... Damage to close enemies, damage over time, legendary power. Oh god, they're both good. Agility skill reduces cooldown, so I think we definitely want that. Yeah, so definitely not using this one. Injured and rapid fire. So this is a rapid fire. So we'll put rapid fire over here. Aspects. End of dash. So there's probably cold. We purchase a stash tab. Okay, we don't have enough gold for that. Arrow storm. So this is rapid fire. So these are two rapid fire ones. We've got smoke grenade at the end of dash. It might be good for the crowd control cold one. So we'll pop that there. Just extract that now, salvage that, and while we have a barrier active, chilled enemies hit by grenades. Equal chance to equal chance to W critical strike chance to be instantly frozen for two seconds. Grenade skills count as traps. Whenever you arm a trap or drop grenades, you gain 14% increased movement speed. Right. Still can't. Where did I put my barrier one? Jesus. Okay, let's pop these two in here. That's the explosion one. So these are kind of the unwanted ones. We definitely want to use this somehow. So we can get the aspect and pop it somewhere. And that's just a rare. Yeah, that's the arrow storm one. Okay. That's fairly small damage though. I don't know about that. But it is splash. Okay, so they're the two rapid fire ones. I mean, obviously we we're extracting this one because the weapon itself is not that great. Oh, okay, we need to do that on the other character. So we extract as well. 
that's the barrier. This is just a rare. Sell this off. Yep. Gotta locate my. I'm gonna try and hit level 25 before the next one actually. Uh, let's kind of hustle Arms a bit here. For the light. So equipped. Yeah, sell that off and sell Anything that else? off. Let's try and find it. I think it might be. Was it here? Let's just have a look. No, it's not. Okay, so it's not on the cold one. I really need extra stash tabs for sure. This organization is a little bit hectic. Aspects. We've got a Caltrops. Also throws a cluster of exploding stun grenades. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. That sounds good for the cold. This is for rapid fire. This one is for poison. Yeah, okay, potentially this one as well. Alexis, we can use some time later. And this one is direct damage to vulnerable. Okay, that's direct damage, but we do a lot of vulnerable on... Let's actually shift these down here. Critical strikes. Movement speed. That's kind of like stutter step, pretty much. So, I think this would be good to use on this one. I need more time. So, we go like this. Uh, May the one. light keep you. Uh, are these boots actually any good though? Shadow step and dodge chance. We get a rank of dash, but we lose movement speed too. But uh, what happens if we increase? Attacks reduce evades cooldown. So they both have that. 7%, 8.4%. I have a gist that if we upgrade these. Yeah, fire res, lightning res, crit strike. I don't know if, it's, if the res is better. Hmm. As opposed to dodge chance. What's our dodge chance looking like? 12.5 I think we could almost do... Do kind of like this. And then we can give this to someone else. So what does this give again? This is um, 8.4 movement speed, shadow step, and dodge chance. Attack to reduce invade. Yep, okay, we'll do that. What will it be? Upgrade my boots probably a couple of times. 
So how much is a grant? Seven. Yep. Okay, one, two, and... Oh god, it's a huge upgrade cost. What are they now? 8.4. Yeah. Alright. Cool. So we've got crit chance movement speed stuff on this one. Put the other boots back and then we can give these to a poison one. Alright, we've still got to look for the barrier one, actually. Uh, but let's put the gems in. Yes, one. Amos is here. Yes, cool. Skull. Crude, crude. Crude. Was there an event? Yeah, there was about uh, half an hour ago, mate. There's another one in... Hour and a half. But make sure you get there, like... I don't know, just... If you want to play it really safe, get there half an hour beforehand. Gotta find this aspect. I have a feeling I lost it. Because I thought there was something that granted a barrier. Footy's on, so I missed it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you got, um, basically just arrive at the, the next event in an hour, and you should be fine. Just go, like, AFK, and then you should be all good. 8.4, what are these boots? Grant. Rank of dash, max evade charge. 8.4, but we do get that natural movement speed. Um... Okay. Dodge chance as well. Shadow resist nine decks. Oh shit. Okay. This way like that. And let's sell that off. And where did my aspects go? I don't have it, really. Dark Shroud, that's that one there. Flurry. No. Break stealth with an attack. Stun grenades. Oh my god, I think I lost it. Up to a 50% chance to stun. Oh, not stun, sorry. Dust Rout. Yep, yeah, okay. Agility. Becoming injured. Unstoppable four seconds. All right. So that's rapid fire and rapid fire. Why have a barrier active? Did I put it up here? That's not a barrier, that's a bubble. Okay, it's not that. So we want to use these ones anyway. So these, these are all aspects. Drop a smoke grenade at the end of dash. Caltrops also throws a cluster of exploding stun grenades. Okay, and... The distance enemies one as well. To stunned enemies. Maybe not so much that one. So we transfer those over. And then we can actually imprint these into a couple of items. <laughs> Kick on to the wrong one. It's the other one. Imprint an aspect onto... I mean, they're not particularly that good, but... Let's actually do this one with... Do 
Drop a smoke grenade at the end of dash. Okay, nice. And then for the items. So this one can be added on jewelry, gloves, gloves. Okay. Also throws a cluster of exploding. Yeah, so we've got cow chops here. Is existing power? It doesn't have any. Alright, cool. So that's all done. Uh, let's get out of here. Poisons, start game. So just keeping an eye on the next world events in one and a half hours. For the light. And let's pop these away. One. Oh, wrong one. Five chip. Ah, uh, crudes, actually. They're called crudes. Alright, we're getting a small collection here. Barrier active. Which one's a damage over time one, actually? That's basic skills, overpower, six life on kill. Ah, these ones, okay. Do I need to be 25? No, but you should be. Otherwise, uh, there's a chance that you might not be able to kill him on time. Alrighty, so we want to go and do these other quests up here again. Yeah, definitely over here. So we've got all our pre-buffs on D and F, and then W for kind of like the cooldown based attack. Time to do that. What's actually in here? Oh, All right, let's just warm up with the side quest dungeon. Activate the gates. Okay. energy 
okay, that one's locked. So we go down either side of these. Father lied. Easy peasy. Everyone's poison. Uh, where is the first one here? Down here. I don't have enough energy. I need more time. Okay, first one is here. Where's the actual boss? Where's this one? Channeling Shrine. I'm low on energy. Oh, nice. No, I'm not ready yet. Open the door. Hey. Captain Raiken, I have new orders for you. Abandon your post. Effective immediately. We need extra swords at the borders of Guhan. I know you and your soldiers must be eager to see the sunlight again. As for your current duties, seal up the prison. I know the stories. Let them rot in their cages in darkness. If they wanted to be treated like humans, they would not have lived like animals. Perhaps we will teach them a lesson that they'll carry into the next life. Regards, Commander Finbar. I still don't understand why I can't walk through there. Ooh, unique. Uh, I keep saying unique. Legendary.
I need more time. I don't have enough energy. Ah, uh, okay. I actually have to kill everybody here. more time. Oh wow. This trap's actually pretty good. Save, save the shrine to last. I need more energy. I need more time. What is this shrine anyway? Artillery shrine, okay. Slay all enemies, eight remaining. Oh, come on, don't make me hunt for them. Oh, they're up ahead, I reckon. Cool, cool, cool. It's fun. Ha! Oh, yeah, I need to upgrade my potions. So let's do this. We've got a specialization now. So, what should we say? We do inner sight, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Then we can spam our penetrating shot. And skill point. Hmm. What does this do? Increase attack speed for each enemy you've poisoned. Do that one. So unlock some passives. So wait for the cooldowns to occur. We we'll charge, and then we can go into the boss with this shrine. Okay, so one, two. Okay, two. Nice. 
<laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, we'll uh, get out of this dungeon. We'll do this thing over here. But where's it wanting us to go? I really should do the movement speed one here too. So, slay all enemies, okay. Oh. Where's all the other ones? What, down here? Where, 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 where? Down here? No way. I was gonna say, like, it has to be up here somewhere. Oh, I gotta remember the layout of this thing though. Can't remember. So it's up here. Let me jump across. So at least our energy is healed when we do that. Do some more gambling. What did we get? Got a legendary here. So basic skills gain 24% attack speed. Damage to crowd controlled enemies, damage over time. Lucky hit chance and distance and slow. Uh, 
we can extract the ass. Uh, the essence. But we don't really use basic skills all that much on this character. Okay, lucky hit chance and penetrating shot. Now we sell that off. Pop those here. Damage over time. Damage to close to enemies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really need gold. So we'll go. Rapid fire. Three all stats. Okay. Anything else? Well struck. Let's do the potion upgrade. Forty eight life. So if we go in here, we can do the upgrades to eighty. So the percentage actually stays fairly constant. All right. Do they do? Do they go up here at all? No. Ooh. Looks like you do get quite a lot of life later on. Anyway, we'll try the event again. Oh my god. I'm not ready yet. Low on energy. So, what is it? Just kill all enemies again? The problem with inner sight is a lot of the times you can't actually see what enemy is affected. Oh my god, it's doing no damage. Did we get
Okay, dealing direct damage to enemies affected by your traps has a 60% chance to make them vulnerable for 3 seconds. I like that. That's good. Basic skills grant, attack speed. So we can actually pop these. Uh, we can pop this one on like a ring or something like that. We'll see. Killing received, April power and hmm. We've never seen this trigger before. On the other hand, if we increase the healing received and then our armor, but we lose fire res as well, but gain nine strength. Um. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then we can put another legendary on it. Okay, we'll go one, two. Well, be wary on the road. And upgrade this one. Thirty grand. How much? By 9. It's such a huge cost. Just for 9 damage. This way, this way, this way. I'm not ready yet. Okay, cool. Another rare, rare staff. Okay, cool. Town portal. This might be a pretty efficient farming method, actually. So basically, within a few seconds, we've got, or well, let's say less than a minute, we got uh, you know, a couple of these things here. Uh, subterfuge skills, total armor, and, and then we've got a socket as well. Didn't realize we had a socket. Okay. Max evade charge. Right. Well, yeah. And just like sell, sell. Got another gem, and. Check again. Someone else might be there. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Shut up. 
Not in town. Dazed enemy. Well, we pretty much never use that. Uh, that's definitely good for shadow. Let's pop that down there. Injured while crowd control grants you unstoppable for four seconds. Pop that there. Agility skill. I already got that on somebody else. Grant a dusk shroud. Probably there. It's just movement speed. Armor trackle drop of need to gain 14% movement speed. Chilled enemies hit by your grenades have a chance to equal to double your crit strike chance. Right, so if my crit strike chance is 15%, then there's a 30% chance for enemies to be instantly frozen for 2 seconds. You deal 10% increased crit strike damage against frozen enemies. So it freezes them more often, and you do more damage to frozen enemies. And you break stealth. We pretty much never use stealth. And this one here, basic skills gain 2.4% attack speed. That might be useful for that one. Okay, and so when I say that one, these are going to be for the cold one, and... Direct damage to enemies affected by traps has a 60% chance to make them vulnerable. Okay. I think we actually unlocked the cultist actually now. So let's have a look. Oh no, we haven't yet. So let's talk to them. Ah, I see you have an eye for quality. Come on, can I escape this? You'll find no finer gem cutter in all of Sanctuary. Oh, come on. Bring me. I'm gonna write that down as a bug. You kind of escape some, from some dialogues. Okay. I carry the best. Shards of the heavens. Do topazes? Yeah, alright. Quest done. Keep you. And occultist is... What does it say? Level 25, or acquiring the Codex of Power. Okay. We'll do the gem stuff later. Uh, but we will do it soon, actually. So we'll drop these down here. So we've got to act on some of this fairly soon. So Saf and this little amethyst there. Cruise. Alright, try the dungeon again. Okay, side quest time. Let's 
get some quick XP. Go downwards. Having no energy without insight, man, that's rough. Here, or if I zoom into the map a little bit closer, okay, it is here. Okay, so world event is in forty five minutes, by the way, guys. So I've got another unique. Poison trap no longer breaks stealth and triggers no cooldown or arm time when you're in stealth. All poison traps are activate when you exit stealth and poison traps cooldown. Oh my god, it is so complicated. Oh my god, that is complicated as.
Jeez, it takes a, a little while to acquire new targets within this fight. Quest complete. Okay, that's nice. Killed for my faith. Burned and tortured. When I died in that forsaken place, it was without the grace of the right. There found the salvation led me only into the darkness. No. His blood would give me purpose. My last among the corrupted tombs of those who might have been my brothers. I have hunted the wretched creatures for as long as I've been able to wield a knife against them. They feed on blood and grow strong in numbers. I have chased them into this nest and been caught in a trap. Their leader can raise the dead. And I fear for all who wander unknowingly into his crypts. If you have this gift, hunt them down. Do not let my death be for Return a bloodstone to the pedestal. I've already, I haven't been there yet, have I? This site actually filled up straight away. Okay. Alright, so I think within the site, what you have to do is once you reach the end of the gauge, you then have to just spam against other ones that are marked as in the site. Then you can fill up quite quickly. So, like. So like that, then you have to find more targets very quickly and just spam your attacks on them like that. But that was a bit difficult because we had a little bit of a downtime on monsters. Now it's a bit quiet, 
But I think crit, uh, Inner Sight needs to mark enemies a little bit quicker to be a bit more reliable. Uh, but we go down here actually. Bam, bam, bam. Very good against bosses though. Feeling pretty destructive right now. Okay, Ruby? Was that a Ruby actually? I didn't I'm quite not see. Ready yet. Oh yeah, this is feeling really good. What do I have to return this thing there? Yeah, we've got a shrine. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> wow. All right, where do we have to go? Is it up here? Return bloodstone. So I've got a bloodstone. Let's kind of hustle our way up here. I need time to do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, we missed a gem. I think we're just gonna miss it. Legendary. All right, let's get out of here. So, four minutes. I don't care if people are going to complain that we're only level 21, but let's actually go towards. Damn, you can see how fun the rogue is in Diablo 4, seriously. Now I can 
spam my core skills as much as I want. Everybody's dead <laughs> as I get my things, but anyway. Level 22, nice. The challenge here. Blood is the key. Come into my web. My bags are full. full. Alright, let's... Oh my god. There's just so many items to look through. <laughs> Alright, where are we? We're going actually to the event. So, I think we need to actually go right... No, let's try down here first. Bam! 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 So, we're slowly getting to our ultimates. Which our ultimate... I don't know. I don't feel like not going with the ultimate. So, okay, let's get our skill. Our skill will be... Well, this is not going to be effective against the boss. So, let's get something that's going to be effective against the boss. Mmm... Trap, trap, trap. I'm thinking trap. Increased movement speed, crits. This one's going to be safer at distance. This one's going to be better... I think just raw damage is going to be better. Uh, lucky hit chance, lucky hit chance. Yeah. So it's, it's basically a question of... Do we want... More attack speed in some circumstances? But I think we've got to think about the broad boss fight actually. So we'll think about... This one, I think, would be good. But here's a question. How does poison damage stack when other people stack poison on him? Because in D2, they basically cancel each other out. 
But then this one's not going to be any benefit, pretty much. You gain 1% increase attack speed, because it's just one target, right? So we've got these already. With max penetrating shot, we could buff up this one to be extra damage in between times. We don't need extra dash. How's the build going? Uh, this is probably the best single target DPS out of all of the rogues I've played so far, so it's pretty good. Uh, increased movement speed. Oh yes, we need one here. Okay, so, so this one basically says that if we've got five shadows, we've got 15% extra movement speed, which is pretty good. Uh, nothing in shadow, because we're not doing shadow damage, and... Yeah, I think we just got to buff damage. That's the way to go. But, we do so via exploit. We'll do exploit. Poison trap. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Is that you, Luke? Lucky adventurer, Luke Adams, is that you? Uh, we can take one... I mean, yeah, we just kind of do that, right? Because we won't be using Poison Trap that much. So I think if we do just extra damage... Oh, we can't remove it, okay. We need dash... We need penetrating shot. We need those. What does this one do? Pierces through. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna forget to add that back in later, so I won't remove that. Movement speed we need. Yes, everything else all good. I think we're all good here. Inner sight, so we can spam that penetrating shot. Yep, alright, I think we're good. Okay, okay, let's go back to town. And I'll record this one as well. I feel like another nap after that. <laughs> after that whiskey. I'm such a lightweight these days. Oh my god. Alright, let's go in here. It's just a normal item. Uh, any, any bows. Unless I've got uh, stuff like this. That is so complicated. Oh my god, I have to figure this out later, guys. But any, pretty much any bow that's got low DPS, well we could just sell. Any items that aren't usable by our class, we sell. We'll redeem that later. Thorn's damage dealt has a 26% chance to deal damage to all enemies around you. Uh, Anything else? I think we just sell that one, who cares. Smoke grenade. No, uh, we sell that. Penetrating shot. Like a hit chance in depth. Yeah, sell that. Sell Fair that. Trade. Sell that one. Magic items, we pretty much sell as well. Okay. Um... Wife is home, by the way, now, so I'll go and say hello to her in a sec while we're AFK. Dark Shroud and Smoke Grenade. But we lose Poison Trap. Bye bye. Barrage, no. Twisting Blade, no. Poison damage we want, so. No. Thorns, Dodge Chance. Poison trap. Uh, alright, cool. We're done selling stuff. I'll be back in about 5 or 10. Just go down into the portal first.
hello. Well done. Impressive.
I uh, just had to put some stuff in the fridge as well. And just having some bread just to kind of take the edge off the uh, sleepiness. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, I think by the looks of it, we've got a couple of necromancers. Got mostly level 25s here, so that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then myself and Millsy over here, under leveled. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have a nap after this stream sometime anyway. And then I'll kind of just do, do some in real life stuff. And, um, and I might be able to squeeze in another stream at the end of the night here. So maybe in about five hours or so. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, but before this fight goes underway, we'll actually, and just, I'm speaking through my food here, but, we'll do some gear upgrades. Try to make it quick. Hey Daniel, how's it going? <clears throat> We're just preparing for the world events. Um, Oh, we've got these ones here. Good fortune. Okay, sweet. What will it be? We'll do upgrade of this one. <clears throat> eh. Not bad. Oh my god, eighty-five thousand gold. This game is so gold hungry. So we'll leave some so that we can extract um Poison Trap no longer breaks stealth. We don't need that one, but it's just something I'm very curious about for later. So we'll pop that in the stash. How do we get to the stash? Oh, yes, we've got an alert on the stash. What, are, what is it? What is it? What? What's this? One missed equipment? Oh, okay. This one? Deal direct damage to enemies affected by traps has a 60% chance to make them vulnerable I thought we have that mod somewhere I really gonna have to sort of inventorize a lot of my uh, legendaries here and see what I've got so dealing direct damage to enemies affected by traps I thought we've got that somewhere here no 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 we don't okay Aspects uh, must be in here somewhere. Make them vulnerable for three seconds. Well, we won't need that for the fight, so I'll pop that for later. Only because I think we've got our. Well, I mean, we do have our. Uh, forceful arrow, which we can use to apply that anyway. So, this one is a to read later. But let's see what we can use now. So, we can't use that. Can't use that. Injured while crowd controlled. No, no. And. Rapid fire, no. Uh, we don't want to use that on this character. Dealing direct damage of vulnerable. Okay, we're saving those. And Dark Shroud, no. Okay. Uh, there's a 60% chance to make them vulnerable. You know what? I think let's actually yank that out. 
Uh, is this which way is quicker? Down here or the other way? Don't know. Ah, oh, we can't use the occultus yet. And I don't want to leave the game, unfortunately, so too bad. We'll have to do that next time. Alright, let's pop that there. We can't upgrade anymore, unless we want to upgrade, I don't know, something else here. We could upgrade these secondary weapons, just to improve our DPS output, because that's really all we need for this. And then sockets, we don't have any rubies. Oh, uh, we've got some. Uh, upgrade, uh, let's, let's see what happens with upgrade this. Damage over time. Close enemies. Let's just do one of each, right? Okay. Crowd control, damage over time. Okay, so that will do. And maybe, let's just check our boots actually. Boots. And we can imprint something on these boots if we've got an aspect. So, movement speed. Yeah, okay. We're really min maxing now. Okay, we've got 10 minutes. So, if we've got an aspect. Actually, we can't. Yeah, we still need to use... Mm, Alright, so it has to be sockets. So... We've got a spare socket here. Spare socket in a bow. Alright, that's what we have to do. I don't know if this game is more complicated than Diablo 2, or the fact that we played Diablo 2 for so long. Charts of the heavens. Alright, what do we want here? So like I'm saying, like, I don't know if it's because we played D2 for so long or the, because this game is actually more complicated that I just feel a little bit overwhelmed. But critical damage to vulnerable enemies. Do we have a damage over time one here? 4% damage over time. Crude. Critical strike damage. I think this is definitely better. Yeah, we've got to go Amesis here for sure. Uh, let's do one light. And shipped Amesis. Right. We can't upgrade the chipped ones any further, really. Add sockets to... Okay, let's add that and add that. So we've got four chipped Amesis. And so we basically do damage over time. Yeah, okay, definitely one here, and then we can add it to these two as well. So one, two, three. Done. Big damage boost, 15%. Then we can do, do we have a socket in here? So life on kill, not exactly going to help us. Jewelry, what are the bonuses to jewelry? Poison, fire, resist all, armor, armor, light res. Cold, lightning, poison. Shadow and cold. Alright, so I guess it's gotta be poison, right? Uh should we do poison? I really want a max life one though. So let's see if we can upgrade rubies. Let's do one. Uh, are we running out of gold? Yes, we are. So we need to make sure we can add sockets to something. So we've already got a socket here. We can add sockets to this one. Oh, shoot. I have many fine pieces. Rare and beautiful. So we can't add sockets because we don't have the materials for it. So. May the light keep you. Basically, we just add sockets to... Uh, let's add it to this piece here. Boom. More max life. And any en empty sockets here? Yes, we can up stones to catch the upgrade light. the gem one Come more time. Uh, actually, did that do it? Maximum life. Yep. Okay. And this adds what? Fire res? Okay, we don't want fire res. Uh, 
should we just kind of say like <sighs> poison res for now? 14%. Yeah, alright, cool. So just for this fight, got extra poison res. So 54. I think. Um, alright, let's just go in. Okay, where's everyone else? What? Got a level 12? What is this? What is this person doing here? We have a level 12 in here doing the uh, world bus. I thought I was locked in to my party. So, okay, we've got how many now? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have one level 12. They're really going to slow us down. I, I think we don't bother reviving them. So, what's her name? Ma. Okay. Oh, this is going to suck. And what are they? Shadow... Shadow... Well, we can't really tell if they're melee or ranged here. But... We can rely on our poison trap. Rank 1... How do I arrange my skills again? I, I just popped them in to exploit. Right. So increase poison damage. I really should. Uh, uh, okay, poison imbued skills. Thirty percent chance applied double the amount of poison damage. Yeah, all right. I'll keep that there. Uh, okay, so what's the makeup of the team? We've got a druid, we've got... Is this another druid? I can't really tell. Sorceress. I uh, definitely have a necro here. Two rogues. Three rogues. One's not using... Uh, we'll start recording this in a couple of minutes. Your team sucks. <laughs> we have a level 12 here, dude. <laughs> level 12. I'm probably the next lowest one. But, I mean, look, considering that I'm only level 12, this character's probably got the best uh, single target DPS out of all my characters so far anyway, so. The beast lives within you. Do like a taunt. There are so many ways I can kill you. Sorry. Greetings. Okay, mostly level twenty fives. Yeah. I wanted to get to level twenty five with this one, but I think I'll just have to do that later. Probably later tonight. Alright, let's hit the record button. So, I only had like four or five players, might be able to get it now. Yeah, hope so, mate. I mean, I got fairly twinked gear. So this is like 432 damage per second, and then I've got a whole bunch of damage over time as well. So, if the poison viewment should be pretty good. And poison traps. Poison traps, yeah, if I lay that down, under the boss. Do not 
go just... any further. Ah, uh, the po the, the boss is actually going to be resistant to poison as well, so that's the other thing. Probably not the best character to do this with, but... Anyway, we're about to start the fight. Good luck, have fun. Not a valid game channel? Oh, come on. So, in 26 seconds. Okay. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Hey, Mr. Beaver. Good luck to you as well. Alright, so five. Let's lay down the trap. Revive him. Ah, come on. Need time to do that. I think this is not a great start. Dying to it's far and out.
Didn't even trigger the track. Team is struggling hard. I'm not ready yet. Okay, just stay in. Hits at that range? Yeah. Ah, uh, alright, let's just revive at the checkpoint. Time. I need more time. 
spam, 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 spam. Cooldowns, man. My cooldowns. Alright. Checkpoint. So, so. We are not gonna make this one. Going around the tech. I'm getting range in time. Time. 
Hunt Feeling like a hardcore soon would not go so well in World Series, yeah. I think if people just stopped dying, we could have got it. Now I've got to refill my gear. What do you need? Ah, uh, why did everyone have to die? All you have to do is just not die, and we could have got it. I had to overcompensate for the fact that people were dying. And that went badly. Did you try as well? I have many fine pieces, rare ah, and beautiful. Geez. Uh, I think diamonds are totally useless, actually. My team was just dying! It's like, there was six of them, there was even seven of them at one point, they were all dead. I was like, I was, I was at one point the only person that was alive? Like, how am I supposed to take him down on my own? I'm only level 22. Ah, oh, man. Okay, that was the first failed one that I attended, unfortunately. Alright, we'll do a few more kind of like dungeon-like stuff. We'll do one dungeon run. And then I'll probably pop on it. Uh, sometime later on this evening, but I think after this I will prep some dinner and get all that sort of stuff done. that? Is that just an NPC? Just popped in to say congrats once again and to say thanks for the awesome content. Thanks mate. Yeah, that level 99 grind, I tell ya. <laughs> uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So, pasta and asparagus. Corn, peas, butter and pesto basil sauce. Yeah, that sounds good, man. 
I mean, aside from the pesto, because I'm, I'm allergic to nuts, so I've kind of refrained from eating those things. Come over here. Time to do that. Last wave, all right. Oh, the trap. Okay. Oh, so I didn't mean to get that shrine. Okay, let's try and find a boss. I need more time. Not too bad. Didn't realize Pessa had nuts in it. Uh, yeah. Learn something new every day. Time to do 
wouldn't have made it without you. I need time to do that. There's one here. Hey Shinu, how you doing mate? What are you trying to say here? Oh hi, good morning. Oh good morning, okay. How was your evening? Did you sleep well? Gotta go up here. I need more time. Oh, perfect trap set up. Yeah, we just lost the world event, unfortunately, because we had a level 12. I mean, I was level 22, but I died the least out of everybody there. There was actually a point where I was the only one alive in my entire squad. And so, like, I don't know, you just got to stop dying and we could have done it. Have made it without you. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Missed the stolen hour, but doing good. Ah, oh, daylight savings, okay. Okay, there's two more over here. It's a trap. Okay, we're filling up with items again. Oh, I forgot to put away my things. And I forgot to get this one over here. Just in time. I need more time. Hey, we gotta level up. So, I think when my character turns purple, then that's when I've got the inner sight. Time change is always annoying. Oh yeah. We've got one coming up pretty soon actually. Yay, complete. Alright, so what time's it now? 6.30. So I'll just clean up and we'll actually end the stream here. And then I'll possibly come back later on tonight. Kind of like feeling 50-50 at, at some stage. Yeah, crossbow. And we've got to level up as well. So I can actually put that point somewhere. 
It's saying, hey, let's pick one of the ultimates. 10% chance to gain 8 energy. Or well, we could do Shadow Master, or we could just keep with the current skill arrangement. Dark Shroud. Yeah. That does give us movement speed, though. Uh, or at least it would if I... But added, I already do have that, yeah. So that's a problem, we need an extra skill here. Because like, I've already got it filled up with Poison Trap and Imbuement. Dash is like non-negotiable, like we need to have that there. And this does give us 40% damage reduction as well. Ah, oh, it's a tough choice. Uh, thanks for the conversation. Gone to bed now? Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, must be late at your hour there. Have a good day and keep up the grind. Right, thanks very much. Yeah, I'll uh, definitely grind up some stuff for dinner, that's for sure. Um, Alright, last skill point. I don't know where this should go. Very D3-ish with the small uh, slot bars. Yeah, I think they directly rip this off D3, but that's fine. It's not the part that I don't like. So we could get this one. Poison Trap. I think we just crank the damage on that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I think if we at least had an ultimate slot in here somehow, where it's like reserved for an ultimate, then we'll be able to whack that in there. But it's just so hard. Poison trap. Because poison trap's so good, and we have to have poison impugnment. So, poison impugnment. This one might be okay. Within a sight, we could actually spam that penetrating shot quite well. So, let's give that a go. And what does this do? Deal 5% less damage. But that's only poisoned enemies. Okay. So, gear. Uh, what do we get? When you hit a crowd controlled enemy, there's a 34% chance for that effect to spread to an unaffected enemy. Alright, we might use that for uh, our other character. Magic ones can go. Anything that's got less damage on the bow can go. Crit chance. Penetrating shot, lucky hit chance. Willpower. That can go. Attack speed and penetrating shot. Here we go, guys. That might be worth hanging on to. Uh, this one here. Damage, damage reduction. Well We've got struck. poison. Physical damage, lightning resists. Sell that off. Nine to strength. No. no. Anything else? All the blue items can go, I think. This one here. Fire res, thorns, we don't need thorns. Core skill, legendary power. There's crit damage, close enemies, and damage over time, but we gain less of that. Fair okay. trade. Healing received a 9 strength. Oh, this might be an upgrade. No, it's not. Okay. Poison resist, healing received, total armor. Okay, oh, that's right. We want to move this onto our other character. Now, marking an en 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 enemy vulnerable has up to a 72% chance to grant increased critical strike chance for 3 seconds, up to 9%. Oh, making an enemy vulnerable. Okay, that's an interesting one. We'll set that aside as well. Dodge chance. Close enemies, damage reduction, poison trap. Okay, not that one. Okay, that one we keep and Dark Shroud. 
Healing receive willpower. Oh, this is where we get our barrier from. That's right. Okay, so these sorts of items here. Do we have a uh, barrier thing here? Increased armor. Basic skills. Basic skills. Crowd control deals. Yeah, okay. So... We just need more items like that. And I don't think there's going to be any more world events in the beta. Was this a breezer actually? No, it wasn't. We need more gold. And we need to gamble too. So we'll gamble. And then we'll come back later. So this one is vulnerable. Critical strike chance for three seconds. I don't know if my build needs crit, but we'll put that for shadow. This is for cold. This is for cold here. And penetrating shot and attack speed. We'll lose dex. But five dex is absolutely nothing. And lucky hit chance. Do we use lucky hit actually? Thirty percent chance applied double. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, you know what? I think we'll keep the current ones, but this can go to someone else. And this one here, healing received. I think we sell that one. Let's do some gambling. Pants. Now, what I want to know is how to actually make a... There's this thing that I need, it's like a material. On being able to socket something. So, jeweler. So, this material here. Scattered prism. Ah, oh, so it's just salvaging rare items. Rare and hoarded by their previous owners, these prisms are often guarded jewellery. Right, okay. So I guess we'll start to salvage the rare ones instead now. And we'll go... We'll wrap up this character and we'll go and gamble. So stash these gems away too. Got hardly any gold. And uh, so. I think this is going to be like our other pile. And yeah, these ones too. And let's actually store these. Okay. Leave the game. And we'll go to our cold one. And we'll do some gambling. And we'll call it a wrap after that. above anything else. Well, I think for the other characters we probably need... Uh, let's just grab the cheapest one. The gloves. Uh, gloves or boots. Hmm, not much. Fair bit of... 
It seems. Oh, bad luck. It seems your prayers have been hmm. and very gloves. nice. Oh, bad. It seems your. Oh, bad. All right. Killed enemies hit by a grenade, so chance of equal W approach strike. So, okay, we didn't really get anything new, unfortunately. Uh, we'll sort through these items later, but I'll wrap it here, guys. So, thanks very much for joining in, and I'll possibly stream later on tonight, but still sitting on 50 50 at this stage. Uh, if I do stream, it will be probably a short one as well, so maybe like an hour or two, thereabouts. So, I'll see you guys later. Cheers and bye.